Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? Happy Monday. This is really unusual for us having a live on a Monday, but we are ridiculously excited. If you caught the live on Friday, I was teasing this as much as possible and I couldn't say anything. But now we can fully announce we have got the wonderful Justine Hovey on board with Craft Stash creating her own beautiful collections and the first one launches today. If you've taken a look already, it is called Sunflower Smiles and it's stunning. And what I love about this one is very different because there's a little bit of foiling involved. So if you've not ventured into foiling or you do it all the time and you wish that we had more of those products at Craft Stash, this is the perfect place to be. We're going to pop over and say hello to Justine in just a moment but I'll just very briefly run over these details for you so we've got the sunflower smiles collection it's beautiful honestly it's absolutely stunning and prices are from over on the UK site 7.99 as low as 7.99 we do have a whole bundle for you as well the bundle you're saving 11 pounds on as well if you want to go and take a look at that I'd really say please wait till the end of the live so you can watch us first because Justine's got some amazing demonstrations for you plus we've got a giveaway but if you do want to get in there early and make sure you secure yours pop over to craftstash.co.uk or if you're over in the US or you shop on the US site craftstash.us okay now um, like I say we do have a giveaway as well a complete bundle is coming out to somebody watching live now now if you're watching live on Facebook that's Monday uh, lunchtime today Monday oh I don't even know what the date is 20 something let me double check that 24th I should know that um, at 2 p.m. our time so if you're watching now live I'm going to pick a winner from you guys there and then I've also got a winner to pick from everybody watching on YouTube now this is coming out on YouTube at 7 p.m. today on Monday so whichever platform you're watching on make sure you comment and I will be picking a winner on YouTube you get 48 hours before I choose the winner so it gives everybody chance to get in there get their comments in and it is completely chosen at random Okay, so let's go over to the lady herself who I, I'm, I'm so excited. I need to just ooh, breathe for a minute because this is ridiculously exciting. So Justine, hello, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Brilliant. This is, I mean, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm just giddy. It's ridiculous. I've been like this all weekend and I've been teasing it last week as well and I couldn't say anything. Uh, how did this all come about? How, how have, we got, have we got you designing a collection for us? Uh, that's a good question. Um, someone on the team reached out and asked if I was interested. And at first I was thinking, uh, no, I don't think so. It was never really my idea to design a stamp line or a die line or anything like mm -hmm. that. And then I realized that the process, Craft Stash just made the process so easy and an offer I couldn't refuse Lovely. in the sense of, okay, I have ideas and yes. you all just put the ideas to life, so. Fabulous, <laughs> and it's actually, I've been following you for a long time, but I've, it's crossed my mind that some people may not have found you within the crafting industry before, so who are you, where, where are you from, where can we find you and what do you do? Give us a little bit of a, an oversight there. All right, so I have been making cards on YouTube, I think for a good 10 years. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time and I do mainly card making tutorials over on YouTube mm -hmm. and lots of crafty advice and craft organization and that kind of thing. Uh, you can find me on YouTube just under my name, Justine Hovey, same with on Instagram, Pinterest, and uh, Justine's Cards on Facebook. And yes. a little bit about myself. So I'm Canadian uh, originally, I live in Germany. I'm a teacher full time, and then I do this amazing crafting in uh, on the weekends. And I absolutely love what I do, and I can't believe I get the chance to do this just every day. It's so you're cool. a very busy lady, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> busy, busy, uh, brilliant. Now, what we're going to ask you to do is, um, well, show us the collection. You know, we can't wait to see it. I'll go back. What I'll do is I'll read out some. We've got some lovely, lovely comments coming through. I'm going to go and read some of those out and um, what we'll do is let you just switch your camera around and everything and then hopefully we can see what your new collection is. Sure. <laughs> Lovely. Cool. We'll come back to you in a moment. Yeah. There's, there's, that's just in. That's new. I've been so excited to, for us to have. Now, let me go through some of these comments. Lots of lovely comments coming through. So first of all, uh, Tracy Ann. Hi, Lou and Justin and all. Happy Monday. Hello to Lynn Clifton as well and Michelle Moffat. Um, Gemma Lee Crafts, hi, how are you Gemma? Um, hello to both of us, lots of people saying hello, Gillian is excited to see what's coming up, 
Um, do oh Amanda from sunny Spain always oh, is a bit miserable. I didn't do the weather thing, did I? It's not so sunny today. What we have got though is sunflower smiles, so they'll brighten things up. Tracy Ann says she loves sunflowers. There's lots of e's on the end. Loves sunflowers. Um, and hello to you as well. Lots of you saying hello. Um, Teresa, so surprised. So hi, Justine. So surprised and excited to see your new line at Craft Stash. Wishing you lots of luck with this new endeavour of yours. You're amazing. Oh, lots of love for Justine here as well. And for sunflowers too. Now, who's been online and had a look? Let us know in the comments. Um, you can just pop onto Craft Stash. As soon as you pop on the homepage, there is a banner and that takes you straight to the item. So you don't need to hunt around for it. But if you do want, if you're already on there and you want to do a search, Sunflower Smiles. Don't forget as well, if you're a VIP, you, naturally you get your 10% off, you get your priority, I nearly said priority, priority dispatch and you get your double points too. So right. Now I'm going to calm down. Probably going to have a drink of water or something, cool down a little bit and let Justine do her thing. We're going to have a look at uh, what what we've got, what's in the new collection. Justine, we're with you now. Sorry, I didn't tell you. We're with you now. All right. Okay, so I wanted to start off, I'll throw these off to the side here, with I think this is my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> start with that and this is an amazing border die so what I mean by border die is that you oh. can create beautiful borders alongside your cards and the great the great thing is is you can stick this on let's say the border of your card but you can also shift it to any point of the card so mm -hmm. you can have more color showing less color and I just think the intricacy of the sunflowers turned out absolutely amazing. It's just Gorgeous. something really special when you die cut, you have the intricacy. And it's one of those things where I love to show people and they go, oh, how did you do that? How did you get them to cut off? But it's already made this way. So Fabulous. I love that. Lovely. And I'll probably be demoing this specific card in a little while. Look forward to that. So that is the sunflower border set. And coming up next, we have the hexagon plate set. And I designed this specifically to have two pieces. So you have normally when you have a cover plate die, it's just one die. Um, mm -hmm. But I designed this to have two. One so that you get a card based die in case, you know, you never know when your trimmer kind of, you know, needs new blades or whatever. So you can easily yes, just. That was me card. at the weekend. <laughs> Mine needs it badly right now. So you can, um, you can cut out the hexagons just as is, or you can use these together. Um, it doesn't matter. And uh, so you get both of those dies and you can see them in action here Lovely. in a little bit more detail. So you can see on um, this card, I just have a beautiful white on white. It looks like so it's embossed. Yeah, it does look like it's embossed. So in some of the areas on this one, I actually filled in the hexagons with some white card stuff as well. Sometimes you get a little bit more of an embossed look. Mm -hmm. One of those extra steps that's not necessary, but I like to do it. <laughs> And you can see it in color here. So you can really just, um, it's so versatile in the sense that you can make it super subtle and simple or mm -hmm. just an in your face color, pop of color, um, depending on what your preferences are. I'm a clean and simple girl. Beautiful. And what size is that, Justine? Sorry. This one here will make an A2 size card. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches, um, or it's 10.7 by 13.9 centimeters. Beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. Hmm. All right, we're continuing on here with some, what am I going to show next? Uh, the sentiments. So these here um, all go, they, they pretty much all stand alone on their own, but mm -hmm. you can still use them in conjunction with the sunflowers, which is really great. And they have a beautiful font on them and lots of very practical sentiments like birthday and thank you, your beautiful smile. I like to create practical sentiments that I know I'm going to send cards with. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're a nice brush sentiment. You've got a good amount of, you know, just regular fonts, uh, brush fonts, thick and thin. So it gives you a nice little variety. So Love them. I can yeah. see me using those like all, literally all the time just for almost any occasion there because you've got all sorts, haven't you? Just I mean, something like With Love and Hip Hip Hooray covers loads of occasions. <laughs> yes. Okay, and that's an A6 size stamp set. Let's see. All right, and then this big collection here. So I've got a couple of little samples here already for you, so I could show a little bit about what it does. Okay. Um, this is the perfect sunflower. So we'll start with the perfect sunflower die and A5 stamp set. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit of the larger one um, for our American audience, six by eight. 
Um, and this here comes in a layering set. And I'm gonna tell you a little tip here. When you get the stamp set, remove the backing, and then just do a quick mark with a permanent marker on the back, on the top petal of each one, and you'll be able to line them up super quickly. Ah, brilliant, that makes so much sense. Here. I've done a little dot. So just, just as they are out. in the packaging, mark the top. Yeah, so it shows you how to line it up here. There is a finished stamped image on the packaging, mm -hmm. so you know what it's supposed to look like. Um, but I also find just because they're already on there in the exact spot that they need to be, putting that little mark, permanent marker on there will save you tons of time. And you can see how gorgeous this stamps out. That is stunning. I absolutely love this. Yeah, that's beautiful. So um, I love the different tones you're getting because of the layering stamp. And as I said, when you put the little permanent marker on there, it's so easy to line up. <laughs> Fabulous. Would you suggest put like a little pencil mark on your paper so you can line your dot up with that each time or something? Or do you not yeah, need it? Yeah, you can do that. Um, what's going to happen as well is once you stamp your first layer, which is usually going to be the outline, mm -hmm. and I'll show this later in the demo, um, usually I just have it facing upwards, just completely towards okay. the top. And that way when I go to put the second one, I just line it up with the top. And no, it sounds easy. Easy yeah. peasy. Can't well, wait can to see it. To put the pencil mark on the on there, but you can definitely do that to give yourself some guidance for sure. Brilliant. Yeah. And uh, what is also great about this is whether you have these separate or together, these two, they coordinate together. They will work and function together, but they function on their own. And this is the stunning sunflower hot foil. So what I did was I hot foiled here just to show you because hot foiling on screen is a little bit of a thing. And <laughs> it I, takes a while. It's it? actually a YouTube video on how to make all of these cards that will be coming out tomorrow. And you'll be able to see the hot foiling completely in action. But Brilliant. I did one in advance um, just so you can see just the, sh the shine on it. That is and gorgeous. Just on its own. So you can yeah. create a very clean and simple looking sunflower with mm -hmm. the hot foil or you can combine it with the stamp. So does that take place of one of the stamps or is this in addition to the images that you have in the stamps? Um, so this here, oh, sorry, here, I'll just show. You have your stamps and then you have this plate. This is the hot foil plate. Yep. And so what I did was I hot foiled this first. Yep. And then I stamped over top. So you can stamp all, is there four images or five? I can't remember the sunflower layers. The sunflower. So there's there so you can say oh wow that's amazing yeah. the dimension is stunning yeah so it was really important for me when I created the collection was if you own a hot foil machine that it coordinates with other things and you're not just using it on its own Absolutely. and if you don't own the hot foil machine you can still stamp something stunning gorgeous yeah. I can't wait to see all of this in action so you say uh, you've got videos coming up on YouTube tomorrow I do, yes. I'll be having two up this week. One's definitely coming up tomorrow. The other one probably Thursday, Friday. I haven't scheduled it yet. Brilliant. Um, Brilliant. And then it'll be ready. And it also has, we have a couple of dies here. And what I really like about these ones is that they are a solid die. And mm -hmm. I'll show you tips and everything on how to line those up and how to get those cut out. But I just wanted to show you, I hope you can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, the oh, detail yep. that it puts in. I did just catch a glimpse. Um, so you can see here on the actual die itself, it's got all these little lines, uh, texture lines, and same with on the leaf, here it is. Uh, and that just creates more of a realistic look as well. So when you, I can just actually grab myself maybe a highlighter or something. I'm gonna ruin my um, die cut, but just so you can kind of see it maybe a little bit better. Yes, you we can see it now, yep, perfect. There you go. Lovely. So, it, it just adds more detail even. And if you don't want to do that and you want to skip the step, there's just the outline die Great. as well. So you have options. Lovely. <laughs> what was really important for me when creating, I always think from a perspective of a crafter because I've been a crafter for so long, I want options. I don't want to just be able to use things in one way. I want to be able to combine things. I want to be able to get the most out of my product and out of my money that I spent. <laughs> Absolutely, definitely. We also have this smile die that comes with the, the stamp set here, and you can see that in action here. And do they coordinate, are they the same size, the stamp and the die? Yes, um, so. Oh, I the, see, so it's the die is in, sorry, it's not a stamp, is it? it's just a die in the smile. 
So we have here uh, this perfect sunflower stamp. This comes with a coordinating die to cut it out. Yep. And then it also has the smile and it also has I see. Sorry, I was thinking there was a smile stamp as well, but it's just the die and the smile. That makes things clearer. <laughs> yeah, so everything fits. You can see it fits right over top, the detailed line. Brilliant. Um, and then you can cut it out, or if you don't mind a little bit of a larger outline, um, mm -hmm. that will cut it out. Uh, this will also cut out the hot foil. Um, one here, you have these that are all kind of one interlaced inside the other, so you oh, can wow. use them together separately um, it just all it just, works doesn't it it all just works together yeah it does fabulous is that i think are there papers are there papers there are papers yeah so yes. i have these in the mail just a, not long ago so <laughs> i'm hoping to create with maybe i'll create with them today <laughs> and i just wanted to show off the um six different designs um so you get 24 pieces in the paper pack um six designs so four of each and I just wanted to show off, these are all sunflowers here. Um, just a beautiful uh, top and bottom border. Love this. Um, I also really personally like bright with dots. I like to have little little dots or little geometrics. Nice. Um, very subtle yellow sunflowers, so mm -hmm. just outlines. One with a little bit more detail if you like really bold looks. Um, a little bit of a wood grain. I always love wood grains. Beautiful, yeah. <laughs> And then the last one is uh, a bunch of sentiments and things that you can add. So we have some ephemera here. Uh, you are my sunshine. Stay positive. Life is beautiful. So you don't even have to stamp things out if you don't want to. You can cut these out, put them onto your card. They're already done. You're a journaler. You have a little notes here um, if beautiful. you'd like. And yeah. So those are the six pieces of the pattern paper and the six different designs. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. I think that's everything, isn't it, in the collection? Yeah, that is everything, yeah. Brilliant. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back and read a few questions. Not questions, sorry, a few comments, and then we'll come back and see you demo, if that's okay. That sounds great, yeah. Brilliant. So I'll let you get set up. So thank you so much for all your comments, everybody uh, writing in. We've got some new names watching as well today. Hello to all of you. Uh, let me find a few. So Rosalind uh, loves how the dyes work together and the beautiful papers. Astri, happy, happy sunflowers. Exactly, exactly. Lynn, Lynn, I don't know whether Lynn, you're answering another question. She just said, I mean, who doesn't want this collection? <laughs> fair point, fair point. Um, Lorraine Rhodes says, great set. Jude says, uh, so many options. Uh, Jenny Hall loves that the hot foil, foil die coordinates with the beautiful stamp set. Um, I'm trying to find, I saw earlier, some names, people saying, here we go, Teresa, I've been following Justine for a long time here in the States. Love all her tutorials and videos. She's an expert in organisation too. I have spotted that. Yes, um, and Peggy says, I work in the sunflower fields in Kansas. Oh, sorry, I worked, must be, I worked in the sunflower fields in Kansas when I was a teenager. I'm assuming you're no longer a teenager, Peggy, so I guess that was a, a past tense comment. This would be perfect for you then, wouldn't it, sunflowers? Absolutely gorgeous, and it will soon be summer here in the UK as well. So, are we ready to see demonstrations? Don't forget, anyone commenting, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, if you are leaving us a comment, you could be randomly chosen at the end of this live to be selected to have a prize come out to you. That is going to be the complete bundle from the new collection here, Sunflower Smiles. You've seen everything. So, £57.99 uh, on craftstash.co.uk is for everything, everything you've just seen. Of course, if you're a VIP, you get your 10% off of that. And you have the option, because it's over £30, you have the, or, sorry, over £40, you get the option to spread that payment uh, using ClearPay. So lots of different options for you. And it's over £30, so it's going to be um, free delivery for you too bargain okay if you are shopping in the US don't forget to just change our website name here www.craftstash.us you can see all the obviously all the prices in dollars there again if you are a US VIP customer you also have your benefits too so take advantage of those okay let's get on with these demonstrations this is what I'm here for I love watch watching Justine uh, play and demonstrate and craft so I can't wait to see and hear all the tips and techniques uh, we're with you Justine it's all yours all right, so let's get started with one of my favorite techniques, and that is ink blending. And I always find when I am die cutting something, I know I'm allowed to be messy with my ink blending. <laughs> yeah. Not all have to be perfect. It can look a bit like a hot mess because the die cut is going to break it all up. 
And so, so is that the Sizzix uh, blending tool? Um, it is, oh, no, sorry. No, I see it's now. a domed, domed uh, um, fold. I think, I think it's from Ranger. I'm not too sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it is, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was, the way I saw it, I was looking down on it, and I thought it was the Sizzix one with a long handle, but I see now when I saw it on the side. It's a foam one. Uh, we've got foam blenders on Craft Sash. We've got the Ranger ones, I believe, um, the additional foams as well. Yes, so that's what these are. And what inks are you using there? Um, I'm personally using Catherine Pooler inks. I think that's all I own, uh, aside okay. from oxides. And uh, so I'm using some of these. Nice Gorgeous. bright cut. Yeah. Okay, and then we're just going to add in a little bit more here. And as I said, it's allowed to look a little bit messy. Absolutely. So and I always find if I take the pressure off myself and I say, oh, I'm die cutting this so it doesn't have to be perfect, I always do my best ink blending. <laughs> Isn't that just the way it works? It, it yeah. just is. And if you know that you've only got one piece of paper or one crack at this, it doesn't always go so good. But hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm finished my panel already. I'm gonna set my that was quick. Side. Yeah, I'm a quick, I'm a quick, quick worker. Okay, so I want to create with the hexagon cover plate. Oh. So I'm going to stick this here and just kind of center it. So have you pre-cut your card stock to a particular size already? Or are you, you know, or could you do this on a slightly larger piece? I cut this personally to four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, if you're using this one, I mm -hmm. do suggest that you cut it just slightly bigger, yeah. um, just because if you use that one, you're gonna have to really line it up perfectly. But um, that's the nice thing about having both dies is that um, you can cut it out of larger sheets of paper. Yeah. You don't have to pre-cut it or anything like that, which is always a plus. You've got those um, options. I do attach it there with some tape and run it through my die cutting machine. I hope it's okay that my die cutting machine is off screen. Absolutely um, fine. No worries. We know we know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, and you know, the thing is, is when you're die cutting, everybody knows that it takes up so much space and we don't have very much space on our on our craft surfaces. No, exactly. And very exactly. often if we have it on the table that we're filming with, we get it all sort of jumping about and and things. Um, Linda Parkin says, lovely to see Justine dem demonstrating. I have those dome blenders too. Um, Elaine Parker said, my grandson loves sunflowers. He has a competition with his granddad each year to see who can grow the tallest. Um, <laughs> this would be a great card to make for him for his 13th birthday in August. Absolutely. Oh, look at those. Okay, so what I do is I keep everything. Yep. <laughs> because why it's not? <laughs> doesn't mean at the end of my craft session that I'm keeping everything but at the beginning I keep everything yeah. because we've got this great um, hexagon shape that I can now stick onto a card base already and kind of start uh, making my card and I'm just going to work a little bit outside of my ink blending area there <laughs> okay. this is where I start accidentally putting my card in the ink or putting inky fingers on it you know, I don't mind if there's ink on the back of a card. I feel like that makes it handmade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. And um, one of the things you can do if you don't like fussy gluing is if you put some double-sided adhesive on the back of this before you cut it, then all of them are going to have some adhesive on it. You don't have to worry about going in and doing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to add a couple little blobs here and there and stick that down on my card. And something I do with cover plate dies is that cover plate dies especially if you do an inked blended one and then you cut one out in just some plain white cardstock you mm -hmm. can create so many combinations so if we go and look in my samples that i created one two three and four all of these were created with one of these colored panels and one white panel fabulous so you get four cards yeah out of two backgrounds and i already see one out here <laughs> can see why you're saving all those bits yes yes so you don't ever throw away the bits i always recommend throwing the bits when you're done your craft session because craft scraps can get out of control but oh, yes <laughs> um when you're working you never know when you can use them as a little embellishment or something like that usually i would use a bone folder as well by the way but it's not on my desk right now 
that's fine we'll forgive you um who said oh there we go sabine said uh she likes the hexagon cover plate it would work well with anything bee themed as well that's true absolutely i mean you already have sunflowers bees just belong with it <laughs> gorgeous i love white and white as well me too okay so and the white on white so forgiving too so if you were to put this like slightly you know crooked or anything yeah. like that you don't notice <laughs> <laughs> all right so what i want to do is before we move on to putting these all together i just want to um go in and use some of the other products so that you can see them all in action and in the end i bet you four cards will come together <laughs> brilliant ahead. four well four <laughs> we don't often get four cards in a launch live so that's a lot it is a lot, but it, sh it should work, I think. I think we'll be okay. You're already a very fast crafter, so I can see it happening. Yeah, I, I am. I always say if I have to spend more than 20 minutes on a card, it's probably not for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is true. This is true. Mind you, I did spend nearly two hours the other day because I made the mistake of die cutting something very intricate. Um, and then I die cut from sticky back foam to place it onto, and I had to get all the little bits out of the foam, and it took me hours. I'm never doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the lessons learned. Yeah. Yeah, I've done it once, and I had to continue. Once I started, I thought, no, I'm going to keep doing this. But yeah, that's it. Never again. Does anybody else stand up to die cut? Because I always yes. do. <laughs> yes, if you've got, yeah, if you've got a tool tape, it makes it so much easier. It's like you've got the strength. Um, hello to Karen Wilder. She says, sorry, she's late. Do not worry. Ruth said, yep, you're so fast. Um, <laughs> Lynn, Lynn has said she's spent six hours on one card before. Wow. Wow. I hope that went to someone very, very special. <laughs> I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. Okay. We have, we do have a lot of regular viewers, Justine, and a lot of them are called Lynn. I always joke about that we have got lots and lots of Lynn. So if it sounds like I'm reading the same person's comment out all the time, they're different Lynn's. <laughs> Absolutely. So one thing I wanted to say too about this one here. So I've got slightly warped plates, okay? Mm -hmm. Plates warp, it is what yeah. it is. Um, if you have the issue where it doesn't quite cut through, the die cuts all the way through, it does. But it might just need a little bit of extra help. So you might have to put either a metal shim or an extra little piece of cardstock okay. in there. And what I recommend is throwing it through the machine a little bit slower than you normally would die cut. Okay. That's the trick. Lovely. Great tips there. Um, Gemma Lee Crafts says, I don't think I've ever made a card in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you enjoy the process then in a, in a whole other way than I do. <laughs> I'm not so Everybody makes cards differently. Everybody works at Absolutely. different things. I'm very much like you. I do love my quick cards, but I love the clean, simple look. And as a general rule, they're quite quick cards usually, aren't they? Um, Sam Calcott's mix up craft said there's me spending three hours on a card. I know, we know, we've sat through it, Sam. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I don't color. <laughs> or yes. I don't color often because I know it's going to take me so long. Um, and that was one of the ways that I designed the collection as well, so that you don't have to color, but you can color if you want. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What was I doing the other day? I was doing a live the other day. I think it was ink blending, but I, I, I was work, doing it at home, so I didn't have my blending brushes. I only had my little stencil brushes, and everyone had to wait while I did my ink blended panel with little stencil brushes. But they did. Everyone's really lovely and patient and chats amongst themselves in the comments. Okay, so you can see here how you can just create just beautiful card bases. With Gorgeous, I love that. Here. Just the and white so is stunning. Yeah, and instead of, you know, like this card here I did, you know, with the hexagons and I and I ink blended this panel, mm -hmm. you could also just simply grab one of these pieces of the pattern paper Beautiful. and throw it in there and it will also look fabulous. So of course. you can kind of mix and match and see which ones that you really like and just add it in there. So I'm going to add, I think, this yellow piece here. Because that's got quite a small design, so it won't to detract from those white sunflower, but that white sunflower border, will it? No, it, yeah, exactly. So it's it, it won't steal the show, as I like to call it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Carla says it takes her thirty minutes just to choose the papers. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is why I don't own a lot of pattern paper. <laughs> oh, there's some beautiful ones out there. These are stunning. The thing is, if you get this collection and if you just have this collection on your desk, it's going to make everything a lot easier because you haven't got to go rifling through your paper scraps because you've got matching papers there. It just all works. So there you go. You have the pretty background. Gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful. So that creates beautiful cards. And I wanted to show how the stamp set worked. Oh, definitely. I'm really intrigued with this. All right. So let me just grab a stamping tool here. I don't um, care so much for free stamping um, when it comes to layering stamps. I you prefer don't stamp blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, just because things get a little a little difficult when you do it anyway else or could anyway and I don't like the coulds <laughs> you take a little while to build up the color and everything and get everything in working order so I mm -hmm. like to keep, you know ready to go I am going to put that mark on my cardstock like you had said <laughs> Just oh, brilliant yay you know I didn't put it in the right spot but you know we'll, we'll put that there <laughs> <laughs> I always love that. I think that I think that that's just such a genius idea with with the you putting the permanent marker little dot on the stamp. I just think, yeah, absolutely perfect. Yeah, and and like I said, if you do that before you remove any of the stamps off of yes. the off of the clear sheet, it's already in the exact direction you need it to be, mm -hmm. and that's that just makes life so easy. There you go, everybody. And I suppose. With other stamp sets, pay, pay people, everybody, if you haven't used them already and you're sort of thinking, oh, I'm scared to take them off because I don't know if I'm going to, going to be able to line them up again, then have a look, see if you can do that with these as well. Well, this with that. Um, let me see. So Maria says, uh, I think I need this collection now. <laughs> Louise said that's a great tip. Rena, nice idea as well. Yeah, it's stunning. It's stunning. Um, just out of interest, what hot foiling machine do you use? I use the one from Spellbinders. I have that one. Okay. Yeah. Just I just generally ask because um, I used to have one. I don't have one now, and I'm in the market for a new one. But other people might be starting to think about purchasing one if they don't already have one. So I like to ask a lot of crafters. Sam was using one the other day on her. She was you, Sam. I think. You were using the Gemini one, weren't you? So there's lots out there. It's just nice to hear what other people are using. Yeah, and you have to just take a look at what die cutting machine that you have and which one's going to be compatible, yeah. right? Because you do need to run it through the die cutting machine just to apply the yeah. pressure on the hot foil. Um, and so you want something that coordinates with the machine that you already have. Unless you're like me and you just have bought every machine ever going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, before I moved here, I mean, I wasn't paying to move it all over here. Um, I had a machine as well. Okay. There's a story in itself by the sounds of it. Yeah. I was trying to like picking between children. What am I going to take with me to Europe? <laughs> oh, I can't imagine it. I can't imagine having to cut down my craft supplies in any way, shape or form ever. It's, it's, it's a thing. And, and you know what? It actually was painful in the beginning. And then when my stuff arrived, I think I shipped three boxes or something like that. They were big boxes. But I was going to say, wow. That, and, that's just uh, a shopping trip for me. It was an opportunity to kind of start over in a way yeah. too, which was, which was kind of nice in, its, in itself. So. Do you think this, this helped towards, I know as some, somebody mentioned earlier, you do a lot of organization, storage, those sort of videos. Do you think that mm -hmm. helped with that? Definitely. I mean, I've, um, I just came out of a weekend event and my video was called Three Countries, Seven Craft Rooms, and how I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Seven craft rooms. You just kind of have certain things that you've always done in a certain way and you just keep them that way. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. That's and stunning. So that is that... there. Depending on the color combination, you can do just yellow tones mm -hmm. and it get a little bit of a more subtle look. You can do, um, you know, really, you can even do pinks and purples and you don't have to keep things the sunflower color. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah, I love the way that it looks. And so <clears throat> here, if I were to take the, and I put a little mark on my die as well, <laughs> um, just so I know where it goes. This one here um, is the one that cuts out the hot foil plate. Okay. And then we have the one that cuts out the die, but this one is solid. And yeah. so how do you go about doing that? So I'm going to um, just demonstrate that super quick. Um, Brilliant. Because, you know, it is convenient to have one, you know, a die like this where you have, oops, 
flying dies, um, <laughs> where you have the open the openness yeah. that does create a certain ease, but you can't get that texture detail, right? No, that's um, true. Yep. And so it's kind of a, a little compromise here and there, but there are both options. So what I like to do is I'll grab, especially a scrap piece of paper that looks like this, where it has a whole bunch of inky finger mess on it. <laughs> I've got loads of those. A scrap piece of paper, and I'm just gonna run it through my die cutting machine. Um, doesn't particularly matter where on the sheet of paper. So we've got some lovely comments coming through. Um, where did, oh, they're going so quickly. Gianna says she's loving the tips. Jackie said such warm comment, uh, so, such warm comments. Goodness me, put my teeth in. Wow, such warm colors. And Michelle loved the, uh, the layering stamp, fantastic effect it is. Yes, so, okay, there we go. I just gotta get this back to where it was. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, then I'm just going to mark my cardstock again where approximately that top point is just so I have a rough idea and then what I can do is I can again line it up here and I can then line up my die absolutely perfectly mm -hmm. using the frame and what I do is I just make one small cut in the side okay and then I will take my die and I will place it back in the frame then I will just remove my frame here and it's exactly in the place it needs to be and it will cut it out hopefully perfectly but we are live so the chances of this cutting out perfectly in the fly are kind of small <laughs> it, i'm sure it'll be fine it'll be wonderful okay. it lo it's looking good so far see i've done it before but i've not removed the outer templates i've just had to get go through with lots of pressure and try and get through sort of almost two layers of cardstock i never thought about picking putting a little snip in and removing the out the first one that's really clever and if that's easier for you to just leave it as is and die cut it with the frame it will die cut through two pieces of paper i mean like you said you might have to put a little bit more pressure on it but overall it should be completely fine look at that the die perfect. cut cut out perfectly absolutely so, even though we're live <laughs> like doing that small little extra step you know, I kind of thought to myself when it when I first got like, hmm, was that the right decision? But it really gives you just so many more options, yeah. and uh, especially adding that texture in uh, if you wanted to add it. <laughs> Absolutely, definitely, I love that. So so far, you've got three card One, bases, two, and three, and One. we can start just putting some of these. Uh, together. So I created this one in particular here. I haven't stamped the leaf. I don't think we're going to have enough, quite enough time to do that. You can see I use two different colors here. Here I have, mm -hmm. I did a yellow, an orange, and a red color. Mm -hmm. So it's got a little bit more vibrancy, more, it's more bold. This one here I used a light yellow, dark, darker yellow, and, and an orange. And you get a little bit more of a subtle look. Yeah. And you can stick that there still a lot of detail even with the more subtle colors you can see the the light and dark and all those shades so absolutely. beautiful absolutely and we're gonna grab everyone's loving that tip obviously a lot of, lot of people hadn't heard that one before also i'm glad i always hope that every time i sit down and watch a live or a video that i learn one thing yes that's you know if i can i figure especially now um after a million and one years of crafting if i even learn one thing every 10 videos i'm happy <laughs> yeah that you must have over, sort of reheard tips again and again and again and then you think of them again like, oh yeah i could have done that or yeah I yeah we can't that. we can't remember everything can we all the time no i mean i always forget to put the double-sided adhesive behind my dies so i don't have to you know spend time intricately gluing everything yeah <laughs> i yeah, forget absolutely. early every time um, so Teresa said, okay, now I have to consider the bundle for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. The bundle's such a good price. You're already getting, I mean, it's only 57 99 That's with £11 off the RRP. If you're a um, VIP member, you're going to get £5.79 off of that as well, which take it down to 52 20 I think. That's quick math, so don't don't judge me on that if it's completely wrong but i think that's about right it's, it's still just over 50 pound which is amazing because it's over 50 pound you get the option of well you get free delivery in the uk 
And then you also get the option to use clear pay because it's over £40 and spread the payments um, and only pay, I think it's fortnightly, perhaps four payments fortnightly, something like that. But you do get your products with the first payment. So yeah, lots of options. Definitely. And the bundle, like I said, everything works so nicely together. So yeah. it's definitely. That stamp's it's ever so clear, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I can see my my ink pad needs a little bit of juice, I noticed, but it's still working. Oh, well, okay. we can't see from here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. And then you could add sequins, you can add all sorts of embellishments, but you can see the finished card here that I had created. Yeah. Nothing gorgeous. more than just adding some gold sequins to it. And that is one of the cards that is finished already. Love it. Then we have this one here where I had the second um sunflower and some of the things that i like to do i just wanted to share just briefly mm -hmm. i feel like when i originally put the sunflower on this card it kind of got lost with the with the hexagon background it almost yeah. kind of blended all together and so when some of the things that i added was a little bit of gold thread behind lovely and i added a little bit of a vellum i think it was a hexagon die just a plain one which mm -hmm. is a big one instead of you know this one here just to kind of give it a little bit more detail so that it separated the background from from the stamp itself and then absolutely. always adding something black to a vibrant card makes all colors pop so that works out really well absolutely i love to use black and i say it all the time black such it makes such fabulous contrast if you want something to really stand out it's perfect i love that and i love that your background that you've created there with that larger panel die it's going to be different every time isn't it because you can't always get ink blending the same oh absolutely <laughs> ink blending never looks the same twice no. ever even if you try <laughs> hi deborah yeah. thank you for joining us <laughs> I just added, you know, this one here on here, you can finish it off with a pretty sentiment, mm -hmm. a little hot boiling, some shine, love shiny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> love little magpie, love shiny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you can see that again here with the with the stamp stamped in it, the difference between it by itself, Stunning. the hot yes. foil plate, and with the stamp set. Gorgeous. Love, 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 love. <laughs> when you are if you are using the hot foiling to do the hot foiling first and then stamp versus okay. the other way around okay. yeah there we go yeah. some more top tip they just keep coming they just keep coming um <laughs> keep coming jenny said she loves the edge die can you use a foil lemon laminator please instead of the hot plate that won't work a laminator no. like ink or something like that just because they're two completely different things that yeah. i wouldn't do the i think the lemon think Teresa means like the yeah like the toner type mm -hmm. foiling yeah no so this is a different this is the one where you need the hot plate I'm afraid to heat up the the, the foiling plate and uh, transfer mm -hmm. the hot foil so um two different types there of techniques is, there is a way I mean if you have the stamp set I've seen it done but I haven't personally done it myself so I really can't tell you if it works 100% or not but I have seen some videos where people have heat embossed and then run it some um foil through a laminator and it and it works apparently okay. but sometimes you get a little bit more of a distressed look like it's it's not quite so solid you get a little bit of blotchiness which if you're a mixed media person or whatever you know that's great <laughs> fine, yeah absolutely interesting and be good yeah if anyone tries that out let us know anyway um justin i'm sure you've got lots of videos about foiling on your youtube channel um, oh yeah <laughs> so go and check those out if you are new to foiling um yeah go and check those out as well because um sam actually did a really lovely live last week i want to say wednesday last week was it first sam help me out was it wednesday thursday i've lost track um and she did basically opening and starting with her gemini foiling machine for the first time live okay. and trying I found it out this on the web Sorry? Turned on my theory. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, yeah, so, so yeah, so check it out. Check it out. Ruth, oh, our lovely Ruth Mackie McCarden said, um, we're so excited to have Justine on the team. Massive welcome from everyone here. Hi, Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. This is coming together absolutely beautifully. I love those hexagons. I think they're stunning because once you've die cut them you can twist them round so the color doesn't flow 
the same way as it did on the ink blending panel and you get a completely different look. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. You can get lots of different looks depending on how many you add, how you've ink blended, in which direction you put them. I love hexagons for that reason. That's why it was one of my first choices for a background day. Carol, lovely Carol on our team as well. So welcome to the team, Justine. Love this collection. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> we all do it is beautiful um carol and ruth if you're just joining you've already missed two cards she's like the super speedy crafter <laughs> like i said all of these cards um especially the ones that i've already made and shown will be available over on youtube tomorrow on my channel there and you can see them all in a lot of a a little bit of a slower pace and then um, as well see the hot foiling actually in, in action so brilliant yeah. so can you just remind us of your youtube channel for anybody who missed at the beginning it's just under my name so youtube.com slash justine hobie there you go easy yeah. to find loads yeah, of subscribers just... so join join all uh, justine's followers that again it's absolutely beautiful i love the intricacy on that border die you did yes, say that was too. your favorite <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I love the border die. It's great. And don't forget, I mean, I'm a crafter that works a ton with white cardstock. I love clean and simple looks and things like that. But you could do these hexagons in black cardstock in any color you like. You can, instead of doing, if you're not an ink blender, you can cut these out in yellow cardstock, in orange cardstock, whatever you feel will will work best. And uh, you can just get so many, so many different looks. So absolutely um, love them all. Love, love, love. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. That is, I mean, what's that? Is that three cards from scratch in, well, maybe half an hour? Yeah, I mean, I didn't put a sentiments and sequins on quite yet yeah. for everything, but, um, you know, we have we have the general gist of the ideas. Absolutely. And you can just put them up, see the smile die in action rather than a sentiment from the stamp set, um, hot foiling and versus the stamping, um, and, you know, just all sorts of things that you can create. Um, if you want to do something very simple, um, I didn't show this card earlier, I don't think, because my Nouveau drops, you know Nouveau drops, you've got to let them dry for like ever, and I put something on top of them, so now they're flat, and some of them turned white because they ripped off paper, but it is what it is, you know? It, it, it's so, a happy yeah. accident because I, I mean, it still looks lovely, so don't worry, yeah. don't worry about it. You can it. go with them a second time and let them dry again, it's fine. Absolutely. Um, but this one here, I have the hexagons glued on here as well, and what I did was I used I used one of these hexagons, I laid it on top, and I glued them in, and then I just removed them. Ah, the, for the perfect spacing. spacing. Without any any struggles. And then one of my favorite cards was the one where I stamped, you know, all of these sunflowers. Yeah. And, yeah. This is my favorite. This is actually the one that is on the homepage on the website, on the banner that takes you directly to all of the products. You can just click on there. You'll see this card there, so you'll know exactly which one to click on. It's so beautiful. I mean, I've actually looked at sunflowers in a completely different way because I didn't use them very often, but um, you've given me loads of ideas today. And I love that all your products work together beautifully as well. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on mine. Already ordered, by the way, everybody. Better order quick because I think, I mean, I know you've got a massive following over in the US who are all just starting to wake up now. So um, yeah, everybody grab these, put them in your basket super quick. Don't forget about your VIP discount as well and your free shipping and your double points, blah, 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 blah. All these things I've rattled off already. They are gorgeous, Justine. Thank you so, so much. Um, well, thank you so much for having me. It, it's been a really, really quick sort of, it's almost now. I need to go and announce a winner for your bundle. So I'll go mm -hmm. off and do that. But I can't wait. And now I know there's going to be more from you on Craft Stash. I won't give anything away. I don't know anything else. <laughs> um, but I really can't wait to see what else you bring us. And uh, everybody, go and subscribe to Justine's YouTube channel. Uh, she is, you're on Facebook, aren't you? Is it Justine's Crafts? Cards. Uh, Justine's Cards. Yeah. Cards, mm -hmm. sorry. Justine's yeah. Cards on Facebook as well. Uh, and you did say you do have Instagram too. Yeah. Um, yeah, lovely. Thank you so, so much for joining us. I will, I'll let you shoot off because you, as you said earlier, you are a really, really busy lady. Um, <laughs> all sorts going on. And you can recover now. You had a busy weekend. And then today's launch, so you can rest for a few minutes now. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, thank you so much again for having me. I hope you all enjoyed the demonstration and the collection, and I know you'll have a blast crafting with them. I had so much fun doing it. 
Absolutely. Thank you so, so much. Uh, take care, Justine. I will speak to you again very, very soon and everybody else will hopefully see you in the next month or two anyway. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Isn't that lovely? Such a gorgeous collection and Justine just worked her magic with it beautifully. I've learned so much from this live already. Uh, I'm sure you all have too. So I do need to pick a, I've actually picked a winner randomly. I've done my scroll, let me, me tap. And it's Elaine Horrell. She's just commented, I don't know if you've commented elsewhere during the live, but she did comment beautiful. I've just liked your, I'm going to love your comment. Elaine, if you'd like to email customer service at craftstash.co.uk um, and let them know that you are the winner in today's live for It's Just Paper, Justine's new collection. Um, and I will make sure they've got a note of your name as well so they'll be able to get that out to you. They'll need your postal address, okay? Now, if you're watching on YouTube, catching up, please do comment as well because until Wednesday, the comments are open for another bundle of the new collection to come out to somebody. I'll go along on Wednesday evening, our time, and that's a... Uh, I wouldn't say Greenwich Mean Time, but it's not. We're in British summertime now, so um, that's why I've got sunflowers. So uh, British summertime, Wednesday evening, I will be picking a winner from the comments there. So you've got two days over on YouTube as well to comment and be in with a chance there too. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Make sure you go to the website, have a look at the items. Plus, of course, if you're a VIP, there's new VIP offers up all the time. Also, as I went through all the offers on Friday, if you missed that, go and check back last Friday's live because I went, I ran through everything that we had in the previous week. Now, this week is an extremely busy week as well. We've just had Justine's new launch. Um, and Justin has said she's going to be putting videos and inspiration up this week on her YouTube channel as well. So make sure you go and subscribe to that. Tomorrow, I have got a craft along with the Paper Craft Society box, which I'm extremely excited for because it's the, the box that was Kathy Andronicus, and I am in love with it. I did an overview again on Friday, so I can't wait to play with that with you all. So please join me for that. On Wednesday is a Sizzix Live, so join me. I think we've got Jess from Sizzix joining us, which is going to be really fun. On Thursday, I've got my own launch of textures, and then on Friday, Sam has a major surprise launch. There's a lot going on 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 craft stash this week i think we'll need a rest by saturday so please do join me tomorrow for the craft long all the details will be in your emails from craft stash and i'll see you again tomorrow about this sort of time take care everybody